Now that I got this trim up, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got going on under here. What's up guys, welcome back. This is Joe Blunk, Pastor Automotive and Audio. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install a subwoofer underneath your seat as cheap and as easily as possible. Stay tuned. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna run the power wire, which actually runs from your battery to your amplifier. And to do this, I've actually done a video on this specific application for 2000 through 2007 Taurus. There's a little tiny plug down here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and it's really easy. You can just get it from right here. I'm just gonna push that out. One of the easiest parts of this and one of the most important parts. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and run our wire. Um, we're gonna run it from the inside of the car to the outside of the car through that hole in the firewall. I'm gonna push it out, but not too far. So now all I have to do is just kind of stick my hand down here and I can see it from here. Ah, got it. And then for now, we're just gonna pull it up through here and just kind of do a judgment by eye of how much we're going to need. I think about that much will be just fine. All right, so now as you can see, we have our wire. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually route it up under the carpet here. And we actually have a vent here. So it's gonna kind of follow this vent. You do not need the seat out again to get this up under the carpet because this carpet, even with the seat on, actually will kind of fold back pretty good. All right, so this kind of just makes my job easier. So we have our power coming right out of here by where this leg is gonna be. Now what we're gonna worry about is our ground. So basically what we're gonna use right here is this mount for the seat. Now this basically fits right on there like that. And then uh, we'll go ahead and then just screw that into there like that. But first, before you do that, you're gonna to wanna to take all of this paint off because you wanna get you know, the best connection that you can for your ground. I also recommend uh, taking this to a wire brush, uh, your fastener as well. That's just gonna ensure that you get your best ground. And they give you enough, so I think that'll work just fine. Let me just go ahead and clean that up real quick. All right, that wasn't too bad. Just scuffed it up. Use some Scotch-Brite. Okay, so now that we've got our power and our ground ran down there, I'm gonna go ahead and use these special tools, which actually helps me to remove the radio um, because we have to access the radio at this point. We're gonna be running our RCAs as well as our remote wire. So this may differ on your vehicle, but um, this should be actually pretty straightforward on this one. And you can go ahead and Google for your certain application for exactly what you need. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Totally did not take a half an hour to do. I love these things. But anyways, so this enables us to get to the back of the head unit and everything. And now what we need is we're looking for a blue wire. And I can already see right here, we have RSW, which means rear subwoofer. So that's where our RCAs are gonna go. And then we have our, let's try to find our blue remote wire. As you can see, I can pretty much to reach my hand all the way through there got a really really good access point so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the remote wire kind of leave it rolled up just kind of shoot it down there you see we got jack here helping kind of going to do the exact same thing this is the rca and this one has a straight end and then they have 90s on this end those up now i'm going to have to figure out some way how to hook into this remote, because I'm not really sure what this remote wire is going to. All right, so here are our RCAs. What I did was I actually just, I don't really know where that wire goes, so I just kind of spliced into it and soldered it and then taped it. That should work just fine. So now, all right, this is all done. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this all back together, and then we're gonna worry about running, you know, the wires down to the amplifier. All right, so we have our remote and our RCAs here. I have my power over here on the other side. So what you always wanna do is you always wanna run your RCAs a complete different route than your power wire to uh, reduce noise. So basically what I'm gonna do is just kind of take this, run it all along here and here through this uh, seam here where this piece of trim goes on. Okay. 
Okay, so now we hook it up. All we need is just a simple uh, screwdriver, a Phillips number two. Oh, I meant to say start with our remote. Now we will do the ground. Power. Now, remember we don't have anything hooked up, so it's not gonna actually power on. I will tell you why I don't hook it up at the battery before I do it here in a moment. And now we just have our RCAs. Simple as pie. Now, if you don't have RCAs on your radio, you can check out my video on how to actually install a line out converter, which will help you to uh, hook up actually any type of amplifier to any type of factory installed radio. Okay, so I've got our wire ran very inconspicuously. It actually comes out down here and I went ahead and hooked up the fuse. All you have to do to hook that up is cut a piece of the wire off and then strip both ends of the wire, connect your fuse, and then strip the other end of the cut wire and then add on your connector. And the reason why I do this very last and uh, hook it up at the amp first is because just, you know, I don't want to accidentally hook my ground into my negative or vice versa. It's kind of easier because, I mean, they're just only like four millimeters apart when you're on the amp. Here, I just feel like it's, you know, a much safer way to do it. Let me know if you disagree or you have a better way down in the comments. Something like that will do. Now what we're gonna do is just connect that to there and then put that bolt through there. All right, so it should end up looking something like this. You always wanna keep this piece of wire right before your fuse as short as possible because you don't want this to be able to touch anything metal in the parameter, which this is just fine. So we're gonna go ahead right now and we're gonna hook this up and this is actually going to put power to the amplifier as well. Although we do not have our remote on, uh, there's still power back there. Well, all right, so here it is all connected. Um, it would be an absolute disservice if I didn't show this app first. Didn't really go into it in my last video, but the app is amazing that goes with this. All right, so basically it is this Lotus Lantern. It's really cool. If you'll notice, there's no light on, but if we actually hit this little button right here, there we go, we turned it on. And you can actually change it to any color that you want just by spinning uh, the color wheel here. If you go down there to the mic, it will actually kind of flash with the music. So that's really cool. If you go to the music section, it actually has some preset music on here that you can listen to. All right, so one last thing I just realized. If we go to the Lotus Lantern app, we can actually, when you go to the music here, this is music that is actually stored in my phone. So I didn't realize, but I do have Netflix Born a Rockstar. Let's, uh, let's test it out. Alright, very cool. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the seat back in here. Okay, view from the back. I didn't realize Tazzy was in here the whole time. It doesn't look too horrible down here and uh, fits perfectly. There's more than enough room down there. A little bit of a view from the front. But alright, I'm going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Uh, I highly suggest you subscribe and you get notified for my videos because one of my upcoming videos is going to be actually fixing this giant hole down here. This is something that happens with a lot of these Tauruses for some reason. The rest of the car is immaculate. So basically, we are, we did not put the seat actually, I, it's in here, but it's not fastened to the vehicle because it's going to be coming back out because we're going to be fixing this. But in the meantime, I'm going to just go ahead and put this little bit of trim back on and um, let nobody sit in the passenger seat in the meantime until we fix that. Stay tuned for that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, all of that. And uh, any questions, comments, concerns, I will get down to them down in the comments. And uh, definitely check out this Lotus Lantern app. I definitely recommend checking out the link below for this Juan Von Under seat subwoofer. 
It's one of the best values and it has quickly became my favorite underseat sub that I've reviewed so far. So yeah, thank you and have a good one guys.